<laughs> you are just too cute. I'm going to put out bales of hay in the middle of the summer. Why would a farmer put out bales of hay in the middle of the summer? Isn't the grass growing then? I'm going to answer those questions and more on today's episode of Big Dave's Farm Life. Guys, if you can't tell, I've had a big struggle with the water in the last week or two. This guy has broken three different times. There was a third tank involved, but it didn't even survive the encounter. Um, I put in an auto valve. Um, they jerked the auto valve. That was a hundred bucks that they broke. Um, I put a bunch of cinder blocks around on the backside and see this, these metal bars right here in order to try to protect it, did all that stuff and it still didn't work. And I'll tell you why the tank, uh, developed a leak. And when the tank gets empty, they do their best to destroy it because they think if they kick it around and just rough house with a water tank, that maybe it will magically put out water again. Because they are cows after all. They don't understand how a pipe and water pressure works. Isn't that right, little one? <laughs> so after several breakages, and no telling how much water that I've given to the environment, probably at least one or two hundred dollars worth of water that's leaked out, I'm back to square one, which is a 100 gallon tank and filling it up myself several times through the day. This sucks, but I'm going to do what I got to, to get through this summer slump. What is the summer slump? A person may ask just one second and I will tell you. The summer slump is the roughly one month long period during the middle of the summer when all forage production slows to pretty much a halt even warm season grasses only grow till it's 90 degrees and once the temperature goes above 90 degrees they stop growing i'm not saying that they completely stop they will grow a tiny tiny bit throughout this but it's pretty much at a standstill and it often results in farmers running out of fresh green forage and the only other option that we have is to feed hay. That is why, or at least one reason why, I am feeding hay in the middle of the summer. And I'll cover some more reasons in just a moment. Uh oh, it's starting to rain. Anyways, another reason that I'm feeding hay in the middle of the summer is not just because we're out of grass, but because I indeed intend to build up our reserves of grass i am keeping them them on the sacrificial paddock and by doing that i'm building up grass on the rest of it and i'm trying to look towards the winter so i can stockpile some fresh growing grass that can be fed later in the year closer to the winter therefore in theory reducing uh the amount of money that I spend on hay. It's starting to rain. I gotta get this uh, this hay ring up and I gotta get it put on that hay over there and I gotta get out of here. Guys, I'm getting rained on like crazy. But I've gotta get the rings on this hay or I'm literally just throwing my money out the window. Thanks for coming to Big Dave's Farm Life. On today's episode, we learned about feeding hay in the summer. We learned about the summer slump. And this is just one of the things that we do out of the many for the sake of sustainability. Please like, share, and subscribe. And remember, keep the dirt on your hands.